Okay, so I just thought I'd like to record a little bonus video for you and I'm going to show you how to use the same graphics that we have in our design kit to make a floral wreath. So I'm just going to basically share my screen with you and show you the whole process of how I design and come up with something straight away. First of all, I have my Photoshop open. I'm going to go to new and I'm going to create a new canvas. I would like 12 inches by 12 inches and 300 pixels per inch RGB color and then create. As you can see, I have my design kit floral contents already sitting out and I have my arrangement that I have here that I like and I also have all the individual elements. So I'm going to use the individual elements to create this wreath. So first of all, I am going to go over to my Photoshop document and I'm going to use the ellipse tool and create a circle. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and then let go. I'm going to just leave my fill with a color and no stroke. And I'm going to start arranging my florals around this circle here. So next I'm going to select my move tool and I'm going to start dragging and dropping some elements into my canvas. So in my peach floral clip art, I'm going to select, I'm going to actually hold down my command or control key and that means you can select multiple elements. And I'm using the PNG files as they all have transparent background to them. So just drag and drop them in. And I'm just going to double click onto each of them and they will place. Okay. Right, first of all, I would like to start with this large peach flower and I'm going to aim it into this corner as it's already facing this way. So I quite like the look of that. So I'm just going to command or control click and drag that to my corner. And I feel this is quite large, so I'm going to make it a bit smaller. So bring up your bounding box, which is Control or Command T on your keyboard. And drag, holding the shift key and bring it down. I'm going to put my about here. And just rotate that a little bit. Okay, double click. I'm done. Okay, I'm going to copy this element and place it opposite my canvas. So to do that, hold down the Alt key and just drag and pull it. And here you will have a copy. I'm going to use my bounder box again. So Control or Command T will bring up your box. I'm going to right click and flip horizontal. I'm going to make this just slightly smaller so it's a wee bit different from the other one. Okay, double click when you're done. Now I want to make sure that all my flowers sit on the top of my layers so I'm going to hold down my command or control key and select my peach flower and my peach flower copy and just drag and pull it right to the top. Okay now I'm going to start arranging some floral leaves just to get a border around the edge of this wreath. So I think this one here uh, this green this soft green foliage so command or control click to select it I think this works quite well because it has a rounded edge, it works well as a corner. So because it has a rounded edge, it will look good around the edge of my wreath. Command or control T and drag it around. And I'm just going to place it here. Maybe make it a little bit smaller. Okay, double click when you want to select it. Okay, I'm going to copy this and make it move it up here. So just use your Alt key and it will make a copy. Command or Control T and just bring it around. Okay, now I really want my foliage to be always at the bottom of my floral wreath so I'm going to drag these down to the bottom but I'm going to make sure it's above my lips because I don't want it behind the lips I want it just on top of it. 
Okay, so these flowers work really well as like a base. I think these grey leaves will also work as a good base as well. So I'm going to hold Command or Control T and that will bring up my bounding box and I'm just going to place it just so that it nicely falls down around the edge of the circle. Okay, and going to roughly copy it onto the other side. Command or Control T. And there's no right or wrong answer to this. So basically just play around with the pieces and start feeling where you think it looks nice. You can change the sizes. I'm holding down the shift key to keep proportions. Also make sure to try and get your foliage coming like from the center of your flower. So that makes it feel like it's flowing nicely, like it's a bit more natural. Okay, I'm just going to make a few more copies. And bring it around my my wreath. Actually, I quite like that there. Okay, I also think we need a bit more foliage around the edges, so I'm going to use this soft green one again. I actually quite like the way it comes down around the edge there. Yep. Okay, move it again. I'm using my Alt key to make a copy. And it does take a little bit of time just to get used to using this, but eventually you'll get a lot faster at arranging and moving your pieces around. Okay. Now, next, I'm just going to move this out of the way. Okay, this green stock. Now, this doesn't work so well for a wreath. However, I would like to incorporate it a little bit. So I'm going to make this a bit smaller. And I think it works well sort of coming out from the, the edge of the floral. Just a little stalk coming out. And don't worry if you're not happy because you can always come back and move these pieces later on. Okay, I think we need some of these dark leaves around the edge. So sometimes it can be a bit unnatural if you were just to place it on its own. So try and make the parts overlap each other a little bit. And feel free to move these up and down your layers panel. So you can bring and just pull that down if you'd like to. If you want this one to be down below this one, just select on your canvas and you can see where they are in your layers. So here are my grey leaves here and my emerald green leaf here. So if I want this underneath, just drag and pull it. And you can see now this is above and this is below. So play about with your pieces and bring them in front or bring them behind. You can also command or control T and right click and put vertical, put horizontal, whatever you feel would look nice. Okay, I actually think this looks better behind. I think the dark leaves look good just popping out behind the peach flower because it gives a nice contrast between the colours. So I'm going to copy that again, move it and do a similar thing on this flower as well. Um, I think I might bring it down here. Okay, we're getting there. Just going to move this out of the way just now. 
So I like to leave these little elements to the end. So the buds and this wisp here. However, I think I'm going to start placing this flower. Start using it. I think. Looks quite nice coming out from the flower. I'm going to put one over here. Now it's looking a bit empty, so I will come back and fill that area. Okay. Next we have a bit of an empty space up here, which I quite like, but I will fill it with something. I think some more grey leaves actually. So I'll take this one and copy it up here. And if you can make it look like the stems are sort of interlocking with each other. Uh, maybe another grey leaf. And I would like this to be underneath this one. So again, I'm just going to select where that is. And they're very close to each other, my layers panel. If you're not sure, you can always just drag it right down to the bottom. Okay. Now I'm going to go for some of these brown leaves as well. I'm going to make them quite small. And do another one. And another one here. Try and balance the colours so that you've not got a big dark area in one corner and then nothing on the other side. You want everything to flow and match nicely. Okay, I think that's starting to come together now. If you want to preview how this is looking without this circle in the middle, I'm just going to go down to my layers panel and find the ellipse that I had. And I'm going to toggle that off. So you can have a preview of how it looks. I really like it. However, I feel there's not enough green. There's only two parts where it's catching your eye. So I think we need a bit more foliage around here and something up here as well. So I'm just going to put this back on. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to hide this now and I'm going to start adding these buds. So I really like to add buds coming out from the flowers. I think that looks the best. Now I don't want my buds hidden all the way underneath there, so I'm going to bring them back up. I'm going to put them just underneath my peach flowers so I know they're quite high up in my layers panel. So, although it doesn't look like there are many pieces to play with, you can keep copying and transforming and arranging them, changing the size, changing the orientation, and it makes your arrangement look quite full, but also all your elements are going to coordinate really nicely with each other.
Okay, I think I'm going to make this a little bigger. And now I've got this little wispy bit. So this is just going to be extra, an extra element that just adds a little bit more flair to the design, makes it more whimsical. And I'm just going to add a few of these in different directions. Add some more buds around here. I'd like this to be above my cream buds. Make these a bit smaller. Okay, we are almost there. Oh, I'm not sure about this one. Okay. Now, one thing I like to do at this point is zoom out. So to do that, hold your command and then your minus button and press it a few times. And that will just help you to see your arrangement from further away and it can help you get your balance and where things are positioned. So I actually feel that this flower is a little bit too large compared to this one. So I'm just going to bring this one in a little bit, maybe zoom in a bit and just make that just a slightly smaller. I think that balances it out a lot better. Okay. So I'm happy with that. What I like to do now is I always like to save it. So that means that I can come back and work on it just as it is here. So if I want to make any changes, that's absolutely fine. So to do that, go up to file, then save as, and make sure to choose PSD file and you can name it here. Okay, now you have some options of playing around with this finished design. So you could add your circle back in with some color in the middle. You can change the color of this. To anything that you like. You can add some text in the middle. So use your text tool. Okay, now you make sure to also remember what layer you're on. So as you can see, the writing is right underneath this. So I'm going to pull it all the way to the top. Okay, so maybe you are happy with a finished design like that, or perhaps you want to save out your wreath for something later on. So I'm just going to delete those parts. I'm going to delete the text and the circle. And now I'm going to merge all my layers. So to do that, select your bottom layer, hold down shift key and select your top layer and it'll select all your layers. Then right click down to merge layers or Command E will do the same function. Okay, now I'm going to name this wreath. And if you want to save this out as a transparent background clip art arrangement, just hide your background layer and go up to file, save as, and then go down to PNG and you can name it here. Okay, so I hope you liked this little insight into how I put an arrangement together and how I design. Feel free to go ahead and use all the clip art and create your own designs. I really can't wait to see what you come up with. So please make sure to hashtag CTC Photoshop and have a lot of fun.